So we've seen that we are getting the message when we are updating an invalid value, the invalid year message, but we didn't get prevented from leaving the row. So actually now our database has invalid data. But we want to prevent our users to enter, from entering invalid data. Okay, so let's see how we do that. We want the user not to be able to leave the screen or to leave the program if the data is invalid. So the way from preventing the user to continue okay, is by throwing an exception of a specific type. So we're going to say throw new Firefly box advanced floorboard exception. Now, the throw is a new syntax for you. Okay, for new in C Sharp, you can read more about exceptions and tries and catch in the regular C Sharp training. But what we're doing here, we are throwing this exception. And the code of the execute knows how to handle this exception and prevent the user from leaving the controller. So let's run this and see what happens. So now I'm going to go into show orders and say 61 and try to leave the row. I'll get the message. And then I'll get the exception. Visual Studio actually will take me to the code to show me the exception, to show me where did it happen. And if I click play, it will still show me the exception, continue, and it will not let me leave the row. Okay, let's do it again. Invalid year, we get to see the exception. Now we can ask Visual Studio, by the way, to ignore this exception by unchecking this checkbox, so it will not go to Visual Studio every time that we see it. Perfect. So now 1961, invalid year, exception, uncheck the checkbox. Sorry, I need to do it twice. And it will not let me leave. It will not let me close the screen. It will not let me close the MDI. It will not let me do anything other than fixing this value and then continuing as I want to continue. Okay, so the floorboard exception that we are throwing over here is what's preventing the controller from leaving the, uh, the, the user from leaving the controller. Let's see the changes. Okay, so we created an if with a scope with open parents and closed parents. So everything within this scope will be in this condition. And then we shown the message box and thrown the exceptions that prevents the user from leaving the controller. Great. Adding flow about exception. Now, a lot of times I would want to do the two things in a single line. I would want to show the message and throw the exception together. Okay, and for that, the code of env message comes to play. So we're going to say env message show error and send it the same error. And we don't even need the env because we have it in the using statement. Perfect. See what happens now. I'll run the code. I'll put an invalidate. Okay, I'll get an invalid year exception with an error and an error sign. The method itself makes sure that you'll get a better message box and it will not let me leave the row. And the way that it would do it is by throwing the same floorboard exception. So the two lines that we've seen before are reduced here to a single shorter, easier to use line. Okay, and what this line does, if you go behind, behind the things and follow its code, it actually does this and then this. Now we explain the long way of understanding the floorboard exception because you may want to get creative in future code. But when you want to do just a message box that will prevent the user from leaving, just do message, show error, and that's it. That's the equivalent to verify error for those of you who came for magic. Perfect. And one more thing I want to talk about. Remember that previously we suppressed the exception, so we won't be able to see it again. So there's a window called exception settings. Okay, and in it we can check and uncheck exceptions when we want to see them. So if you want to see the floorboard exception, we're going to check this to true. And then when we run our code and enter an invalid date, get the message, and then we'll get the exception indication. And if we uncheck it here, 
It's just like unchecking the checkbox here. They interact with one another. So this is how I return it to my code. And if I uncheck it, I will not see it in my code. It's just my experience as a developer. Do I want to stop whenever I get this exception or not? Perfect. So we'll just fix the value here and continue. 